Hey YouTube, American Lefty here, aka Pinoy212293, and I would like to explain to you guys on why I'm a Republican. So now, the reason why I'm a Republican is because I support a strong border on America. I believe immigrants should come here legally, not illegally, and yeah, we us Republicans allow migrants to come in or immigrants to come in but they have to do it in a legal process because what happens is if you allow illegal aliens to come into our country it crime raises up you know and uh, they steal our jobs and uh, you know I just don't support illegal aliens you know but I've had I've been classmates with uh, foreign people, and they've been my good friends, and, and I respect them because they came here legally, like, through a process, all right? So that's number one. Number two is tax cuts. Now, there has been an argument where Republicans make the rich richer or, and kill the middle class and raise the minimum Whoever makes minimum wage gets higher taxes too. They pay higher taxes. But it's not that big of a difference when Donald Trump signed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act where he cut most of American payers' taxes. But then the problem was he raised some taxes on middle class and he tried to raise the tax on minimum wage workers. But what the Senate did, they re, re, uh, what do they call it? They redid the tax, tax bracket. And yeah, so they, they redid it. Trump tried to make it a three tax bracket, which I disagree with. I believe in cutting everybody's taxes no matter what. If I were president, I would cut everybody's taxes. Not not what Trump did. It'd be different from what Trump did. He Trump tried to raise the middle class taxes and raise the minimum wage. Whoever makes minimum wage he tried to raise their taxes as well. And he called it the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. What the heck? <laughs> uh, you know what? What I think about Donald Trump, I think he was a good president. No, oh, excuse me. I think he was a good president for four years. But the reason why he lost is because Joe Biden was the better candidate in during the race, but now as president as Joe Biden's president, inflation was high last year. It was at nine percent last year. And then once the Republicans took over the House, you know, the inflation dropped by half once the Republicans took over the House, meaning that Biden cannot do anything they have to approve they have yeah whenever Joe Biden needs to take action it needs to get approved by the house and then in the senate on new acts he wants to follow so Joe Biden hasn't done much of course some acts has passed where bipartisanship happened but you know Joe Biden you know I don't like Joe Biden at all He's he's just not fit to be a president. Now, if I were president, I would be a much better president than Joe Biden. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, I'm too young. I'm too young and too inexperienced to be president. But if I were president, I would cut taxes. I would provide a strong border. And I would... Make energy independent and make our country more independent and stronger than ever before. I will make America greater than ever before. And 
I would decrease the gas prices somehow if I, uh, but the way I talk, you know, I still need some more work, but this is an unplanned vlog on why I'm a Republican. So, so the reasons why, I, so, so far the reasons why I name, name myself a Republican is because I believe in strong borders. I believe that immigrants should come here legally to make our border strong. I believe in the border wall. And then, uh, yeah. And I also believe in tax cuts on everybody. And then people will say, oh, that'll hurt the economy or that'll hurt Social Security, that'll, help, that'll hurt welfare. But I just want to get the country where everybody has an opportunity to work age is 16 plus everybody has an opportunity to work from age 16 and up we function better when the society when society uh wants to work hard and we would prosper as a nation and if i were president i would make america number one you know but that's just me as president uh, did I say I would become president? Absolutely not, because I'm not rich. I can't afford my own campaign, you know, and I'm too young. I'm like six years away from eligibility from running for president, but I would. But do I want to run for president? Absolutely not, because I don't have the money, guys. <laughs> I have to fundraise and 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 be a, be rich, basically. Prove that I can be rich. Like the Joe Biden family, they're rich. Barack Obama's rich. Even when he was running for president, he was rich. And then uh, Donald Trump is probably <coughs> the richest president of the United States. So, uh, and then Mike Bloomberg tried to run, but... He's worth like what sixty billion, but he didn't win. He was too, he was too weak to uh, become president. He couldn't even handle the primaries because he was weak. He he couldn't he couldn't even get a word out. So, but also as a Republican, I'm very conservative. Uh, I saved my money. You know, I barely spend money on my what I want. I only spend it on what I need. And again, tax cuts. And I want want to create more jobs. You know, help the middle class, lower class, help the rich get richer, help everybody get richer. Even even if you make minimum wage, I would help them raise their money. I wouldn't raise the minimum wage but i would advise them to save up their money and save it for what they need and not what they want so much instead of blaming me or blaming a president on why they're so poor they should learn how to save their money conservatively and being conservative in definition is that they follow follow more of a traditional take on politics and they're more adverse, averse, meaning they, they're more careful about change. They want to follow the Constitution, I believe. Do I believe in the Second Amendment? Absolutely. You know, my uh, one of my godfathers have a lot of guns in his house, and I feel safe in there because what if an intruder comes in, he's going to use that gun to defend the house. So, and my family... My household family has guns as well, but we put them in the shed. So, but we're still safe. We've got weapons of our own, but, you know, we own them legally, not illegally. So, yeah. And also, I'm Republican because I love this country. I want to make America great again. I hope Donald Trump wins, but I don't agree on what he does on our taxes. He did lie that saying he's going to cut everybody's taxes. But several years ago, you know, I found out that he wasn't going to, he 
he wasn't going to cut everybody's taxes. He he lied about that just to get votes. But overall, I still respect him because look, he's winning in the polls right now. He's winning in the Republican primaries right now. And you know, he wants strong borders, which I agree with. He wants to cut taxes again. Now, here's the interest interest now here's the interesting thing. When he said he wanted to cut taxes again, make a new tax bracket, uh, when when it was 2018, he said he wanted to cut taxes on the middle class, fix the middle class income, but he lost a lot of good, a lot of seats in the House of Representatives, and in my opinion. He lost a lot of seats because he did lie about the tax cuts and Jobs Act where everybody gets a tax cut. But that's not the case. If you want to look up the real taxes in the Trump era, go to go Google it and they'll show you the his tax bracket. So, uh, yeah. All right. And also I'm a Republican because I... I, as I said already, I love this country. I love being in America, and, and I believe in strong border control, tax cuts, and clean, independent energy. Lower the gas prices somehow, and I believe in the way, the perfect way, to reduce gas prices is supply and demand. I would increase the supply. If I were president, I would I would increase the supply of gas so we can make the demand of gas kind of go higher. But if we say increase the supply of gas, the gas prices will naturally fall down. But I believe that the reason why the gas prices are so high is because one, Joe Biden didn't do a good job deal dealing with gas with foreign countries. And two, Joe Biden raised the gas prices because of inflation. And three, maybe the supply of gas is not as strong as when Trump was around. And we need more supply of gas. So if we could become energy independent then we'll produce more gas so i might get a lot of hate on this video because i'm a republican it's not a it's not a likable party anymore we we're attacked we get attacked over supporting trump or supporting republicanism and being conservative yeah i think trump is conservative too but not as conservative as me, probably, because he did lie about cutting taxes for everybody, but that wasn't the case. If I were president, I would cut everybody's taxes and force more and force more of people to work in society. So, yeah, I will make more political videos in this channel, but not too much, you know. I'm honest, honestly. That's why my title's name is American Lefty because I'm patriotic and I love this country and that's why I'm a Republican. I stand up for what's right. Conservative Conservatism is cool and it is right, guys. The right way to follow, follow life in my opinion. But uh, I also, if I were president, I would also want bipartisanship, you know? get along with the Democrats as well, have good Democrats and Republicans come together and agree with each other and not boast each other around or bully each other. And listen, guys, somebody even called me ignorant for supporting Donald Trump. And I'm not going to name this person because this is YouTube. I'm not going to name this person, but... Somebody in my life called me ignorant for supporting Donald Trump. And I disagree with that. 
you know? I think Donald Trump is a good man. He did nothing wrong. All these indictments are hoaxes, you know? And when he, found, when he was found guilty with that woman that he probably had an affair with, I think that was not true also. The evidence shows that he said, hey, I did nothing wrong. I did not know this woman. And he, saw, and he somehow got found guilty. <sighs> so, yeah. Now I've got five more minutes to explain. I want to make this like a 20-minute video or whatever. Now, being a Republican, I was, I've was i been a Republican since I was 18 years old uh, when I first started voting. I didn't... When I was a kid, I even followed politics. And you could say that I've been a Republican my whole life. My parents are Republican. My twin sister is independent, part of the independent party. Or is, is an independent even a party? I... I'll say it's it's not a party. It's it's a political affiliation, basically. You know, and we all get along. We all love each other. And my sister's husband is independent as well. So, and if, and then this same guy who called me ignorant for supporting Trump, I told him my sister is independent. A political affiliation and he told me so you do not want to be independent and I'm like what are you serious oh, nothing personal I don't take anything personally nothing bothers me so thick skin right there you have to have thick skin in this world to make it guys you have to have thick skin if you don't have thick skin then life gets harder so proof that I have thick skin you know I know this is out of relevance to this video but i'm still pursuing my dreams and goals as a either a golf professional to teach or being a golf pro or being a pro golfer if i can improve and get my niche fixed out and i believe in the american dream you know my process is a part of the american dream and i'll and if i get back to golf and i my skill sets is coming back. I'll post more golf videos, you know. But anyway, yeah, that's why I'm Republican. But I believe in bipartisanship with the Democrats as well. I wish we wouldn't divide so much as a country. But to, to prove it, I, most of my friends in California are Democrat. And I'm a Republican. I even uh, was man enough to admit them uh, that I'm a Republican and they had no problem with it and they said oh they don't care I'm like yep that's what that's what it is because they know I'm a good guy you know I care about the right people you know but I what I I do love and care for this country and I believe in strong borders tax cuts and being a good conservative citizen you know and again being conservative by definition and as being a republican is we follow more more traditional phases of our life and we're aversive to change so and we believe in the constitution and conservative conservatism we we're more safe we're more safe and we take less risks the and being a liberal they're more into change they're being liberal they i don't know about much about the liberal the liberal aspect of politics maybe i should study a, a lot more and make a video saying why am i not liberal but uh when i check the definition they're they're more produced to change they're they support abortion they support uh immigrants coming into the country whether it's illegally or illegally they don't care uh, I'm not talking bad about liberals because I have a liberal 
I have liberal relatives, so, and they want, and you can argue that they want higher taxes on the rich, and not this top-down tax, uh, not this top-down tax bracket ideology like what, what most Republicans believe in. But I believe in everybody getting tax cuts, if that's even possible. And liberals. What does, what else do liberals like? Uh, <laughs> I gotta study. I gotta study more about what liberals are like, because I've been studying too. I even have books about being conservative, and a Republican. But I have to study more about the liberal side. And that'll be on the next video, uh, saying it'll be titled "Why Am I Not Liberal" or things like that. After I do some research, I'll make a video. It could come out later today or tomorrow. Ah, it'll come out tomorrow. But that's why I'm a Republican. I love this country. I love standing for what's right. Conservative and being a conservative is cool, and it is right, guys. It's the right way to live. And being a Democrat, the reason why I'm not a Democrat is because I don't want to, I don't believe in abortion. I, I believe in the right to life. I am pro-life. Uh, I believe in strong borders and they, I don't think they believe in strong borders. I remember Barack Obama said that if you come here legal, illegally, we will not welcome you. He said something like that. So, I think Barack Obama is a left-leaner, not a leftist, for saying that. Because he believes in a strong border, too. Barack Obama, even Trump agreed with him, say, after what he said about the border. So, uh, yeah, if I get comments, they might get mad. They might get mad about me not being knowledge as knowledgeable as being a liberal I mean, too conservative. But yeah. And I believe in a stronger military as well. Uh, do Now, here's another part of this video. Do I think Trump will win in 2024? I don't know. Because Biden... Biden is getting a little better right now with the economy. The inflation is down to like 4% from 9%. So inflation has gone down. And Biden. But I heard Biden's son is in court right now. He play, He was pleading not guilty for some charge that I don't know of. I got to research on that. So... So I got to research more on the liberal side because I don't know much about being a liberal. And it's kind of bad because it's been two years now since I took a political science class. I've taken several political science classes just to educate myself on how both parties work. And yeah... I should research more on the liberal side. Maybe I didn't pay attention enough in class on how liberals work. And I still get, and I still got A's and B's on all these political science classes that I took in college. And the reason why I signed up for those classes is because, one, they're general electives. I needed general, general electives to... And almost all of my general electives were political science classes. And some political science classes were required in the science category. Alright, so that'll end the video. I'll re-explain it again. The reason why I'm a Republican and a conservative is because I believe in strong borders, strong military, tax cuts. What else? Yeah, strong border, strong military, tax cuts.
and being aversive to change, believing in the Constitution, believing in the Second Amendment. But do we need gun control? I don't think we need gun control because the gun's a tool and it's the person's fault for causing all these mass shootings. And then we need to uh, make sure that we have security guards that are armed to shoot that to shoot that enemy or to shoot that mass shooter down not and then I remember a professor in college said that security guards should not be armed and that would be a disaster because what if somebody breaks the gun control law and all of a sudden shoots up the school and then there will be more people dead you know so so to describe it, I'm a conservative Republican. I'm a right leaner. I'm not a rightist, guys. I agree because I agree with because I'm a right leaner because I do agree with some of what the Democrats offer, but I don't believe in everything that they offer. But I'm just a right leaner. I'm not a rightist. If I I even took a quiz on which how right on what political spectrum do you belong in, and they told me right leaner. So oh, it's a video. Video who? Me. Oh, video of you. Uh, yes. Why? <laughs> Why? You're ruining the video. Oh. It's okay, Dad. So, yeah. And do I believe in myself becoming rich? Yes, I will become rich one day. It'll just take time because I'm trying to make my dreams dreams come true. And my budget right now, do I have a lot of money? Absolutely not. Even with the four jobs that I've had, I didn't make a lot. And then after my fourth job out of college in like a year span, you know, I decided to pursue my dreams and make a lot of money doing that. And I have enough money to provide for that from my jobs. And my job's retiring too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hard work feels good, but they can be tiring, which is fine. I mean, that's the purpose of having a job is to feel accomplished. But I do it in a humble way. I don't feel I don't feel like I accomplished much with the money I was making. But if you feel accomplished making fifteen dollars an hour or sixteen dollars an hour, that's fine. You know, good for you. But for me, fifteen dollars an hour, sixteen dollars an hour is not good enough for me. And that's what a Republican, that's how a Republican thinks. A Republican pursues getting richer so they can, and Republicans, they tend, they have a tendency to, uh, the Republicans, they have a tendency to cut the richest taxes and make a top-down top-down economic process of tax brackets but for me if I were president I would cut everybody's taxes and see how that works that'll get the cut that'll get our citizens ages 16 and plus working hard finding a job and working you know that was me a year ago for four different types of jobs you know and it felt great timing those jobs but now I have the money to pursue my dreams and goals, and I put that and put I put whatever I earned into a, into my savings, you know, and all that money will go to my dreams and goals. So, what are my dreams and goals? Well, is to become a good investor and in business and becoming a golf pro or a pro golfer. You know, but I got to get my knee fixed. 
I'm still an amateur golfer because I have knee problems. And I have a toe problem too, but the toe, my right toe, there's a video for that. The right toe is not... It hurts, but I can deal with the pain on my right foot, but my knees, but with my knee, they say, I mean, I might need surgery. So that's my American dream. I will not stop. I'm very resilient. And yeah, maybe that I should make a part two of this video tomorrow on why I'm Republican. And then there will be more uploads on. I'll make a second video coming up a little later today saying, uh, updating you what's going on in the news or whatever. I watch Fox News and I did, I did used to watch CNN, but <laughs> they're, they, CNN is a Democrat, cha a Democrat channel. Democratic bias and Fox News is Republican bias. And that's why I watch Fox News because I'm a Republican and a conservative from California, where most Democrats are. All right, so that'll be it for the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy.